everyone, we're Roughly Dale here and welcome to a new toy review on my channel. So today I'm doing a review on Gingerbread House. She's the daughter of the Candy Witch from uh, the Ever After Highline. And she's one of the older released um, basic characters but I was missing her from my collection. And I just got her from Amazon. So I want to show you her a little bit up close. Let's first take a look at the box. So she comes in this um, white based uh, box, which of course has this uh, book kind of design. There's a book on the bottom and here too. And she's like on the front of the uh, cover of the book. And she's really cute. And I must say she has the most, uh, she has really, really dark colored skin and I think she is the most dark one from all of the Ever After High collect, uh, characters un uh, released until now. As you can see on the back it says Gingerbread House and here is her little diary and she's a rebel because she does not want to follow her mom's uh, storyline. She wants to bake cookies and make other people happy and not eat them. She has really a gorgeous dress but I will show you that one up close when I unbox her. On the back there is the gingerbread house and there's a little cauldron. By the way, her purse is also a cauldron. It says Ever After High here. And on the side of the box, there's a sign for the rebels. And it has Ginger's artwork. Also, it says Gingerbread House, daughter of the Candy Witch. And there's also a little Gingerbread House icon there. On the side of the box, it says the same. And again, Ever After High with the logo. And on the back of the box, you get a full artwork of Ginger and a little bit of story description of her you can pause and read it if you want to and here is her bio which you can read it online on everafterhigh.com and some of the other released characters so I will now unbox her and show you up close her little details. Be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my Ginger Bread House uh, doll review. Uh, first, I will show you what she comes with. So she comes with her uh, bookmark uh, diary. It says Rebel on it, and there's a little cupcake uh, symbol there. If you want to read her diary, you can probably find it online somewhere uh, on Wikipedia or something because uh, there there is a big chance that you can actually read it online. She also comes with her comb, black one this time, which looks exactly the same as the other Ever After High dolls comes with. And her stand, the bottom of the stand is black and the other parts are transparent, as you can see. Now, first thing I will show you, her shoes, and we'll go up from here. Okay, so her shoes are uh, gold and this really, really uh, bright colored pink. And as you can see, the heels of the shoes are uh, lollipops 
with some frosting on it and there's like a it looks like some beads and the frosting is all uh, melting down and I'm guessing uh, you can find some candies around there too so it looks really good I, I really love her, her shoes uh, in some of the dolls mostly the shoes are the one of the ama amazing the most amazing part her stockings are brown, dark brown, and they have these little white swirly things on them and they give you the impression of, uh, of uh, a gingerbread, you know, as her name says. Her dress, it's really simple, oops, it's really simple and it's sleeveless, but it looks really good. It's this, um, again, the pink and some light brown and has little sp sprinkles on it and I'm guessing these little candies and stuff it looks like a uh, frosting on a cake or something and it's it's all sparkly it has a lot of uh, glitter on it she has a little uh, jacket or coat which is black and um, has this gold trimming also, she has this little cape, which is uh, transparent uh, yellow and sparkly, and the cape is attached to the jacket. She has this um, huge necklace thing on around her neck, which is, as you can see, uh, light blue, and I, if I'm correct, it should be uh, pink, so I have to fix that. And she does not come with any other kind of uh, jewelry accessory so she's missing her bracelet uh, ring earrings unfortunately and her purse is actually a cauldron whoops she keeps falling down so it's actually a cauldron with this um, yellowish thing dripping out of it and the handle is a spoon and you can actually open her purse if I can with my one hand there we go and she is falling down again so as you can see not much will fit in there but I guess you can still open it so that's a good thing now onto her face, so she is wearing some bright pink glasses which have some little uh, candy designs on them and I will have to put a little more detail on those eventually and she has pink lips, big brown eyes and some pink and lighter pink eyeshadow her hair is in these two little pigtails and her hair as you can see it's also uh, pink I don't know why doesn't it want to focus on them it's focusing on other things than it should. There we go. And she has this uh, little headband, which is uh, the bottom part is black, and it has a muffin on it with a uh, pink frosting. So yeah, um, that's about it for uh, Gingerbread House. And I must say she's really uh, cute and looks awesome, but I still have to add some uh, little details to her to be more show accurate and better looking. So I will do that. Oh my god. Okay. So <laughs> I will do that eventually. But until then, this was Gingerbread House. 
daughter of the candy witch i hope you enjoyed my review if you liked it please give me a thumbs up comment down below or subscribe to my channel for more uh, ever after high and monster high door reviews coming up so stay tuned thank you for watching and goodbye